It's Friday. Time for another weekly update. This week, I read to the first graders at Rocky Hill Elementary School, spoke to the students at the Knoxville Adaptive Education Center, and spoke to the senior class at Powell High School. I also helped cut the ribbon for our new emergency mobility equipment trailer. This trailer contains wheelchairs, walkers, and other equipment that will help first responders when they need to evacuate folks with mobility issues, as we have seen in recent years during some high-rise fires in Knoxville. The trailer is the result of a collaboration among Knox County and the City of Knoxville, especially the City and County's ADA coordinators, the Knoxville Knox County Emergency Management Agency, and many other community partners. Thank you to all the organizations who made this project possible. This week featured the launch of the 70% by 2024 initiative, an effort to raise the post-secondary going rate for Knox County students up to 70% by the year 2024. So far, 75 organizations have signed on to support the goal. As I said when announcing the program, it's critical that our workforce is prepared for the high wage jobs and opportunities available in the global economy, which requires an ever increasing level of technological proficiency. Providing a path to multiple kinds of post-secondary education is important for students, but also important to Knox County's economic future. Please scan the QR code or follow the link on the screen to learn how your organization can become an official sponsor. Happy retirement to my friends Joe and Dale Longmire, longtime owners of the Midway IGA and active members of the Gibbs and Corrington communities. A big thank you to the Longmires for their contributions to our community. Now we all know that allowing your kids to use your cell phone is a very bad idea. A Michigan man, Keith Stonehouse, learned that the hard way when his six-year-old son, Mason, ordered over $1,000 in food from several local restaurants using his dad's Grubhub account. Mason ordered everything from jumbo shrimp to chili cheese fries. Grubhub has reached out to the family and offered them a $1,000 gift card, which is a classy move, but that was still one expensive game of match three. Until next Friday, I hope everyone has a great week.